didn't you arrive a little bit like maybe two weeks too late here? Could say it. I, I missed a good trip to Costa Rica. The guys told me uh, it would have been nice to join in on that, but. But I've had a uh, very good three days now, in both in training and the game today, and uh, I feel like I'm uh, a part of the squad already, so that's a, that's a good start. So that, that means you had a good welcome here? Yeah, the guys are open and uh, they were very welcoming, but as, and it uh, feels like it's easy to get into the group, but now it's my, my turn to learn Dutch, so <laughs> they, they made their part, now it's my t- turn to make my part. Um, your first minutes today, how do you look back on, on, on those first minutes? Yeah, it was decent. Uh, obviously, we've been talking a lot about how to play, and uh, then there's the other side of the dice where it's yeah to do what we're talking about. And uh, it took a couple of minutes and took a couple of attacks just to feel where to stand and what to do and where to run. And I feel like in the end I got into the rhythm of it. So if you give me a couple more games, I think it's just going to get better and better. I think you're probably pretty fit since you just ended the competition in November, I think. Yeah, uh, I've been training on my own since uh, since I had the last game with the national team on the 19th of November. So it's been mainly like in the gym, running out on the pits and playing football on my own. So I've been lacking like the team training, which uh, which was maybe a little a bit of a shock to to the groins and the hips. But uh, but I feel like getting over those first three days was very important. Um, this wasn't your first. Um of this wasn't the first time you got to know FC Twente, I believe. I think you already saw a little bit of how they played when you were preparing for the game against PSV. Yeah, yeah. When uh, when I was playing with my Norwegian team in Europa League, then we watched the first half against the PSV, or we actually watched almost the whole game. But the first half was uh, was amazing from the guys. So <laughs> I, I told my teammates in Norway, I was like, I think we underestimated PSV a little bit because Twente did so well against them. So yeah, I saw some, I saw a bit of that. But then I've been watching game on games on my own. So uh, I have I have an idea how they play, and uh, and I think I can fit in quite well. You kept following the team after afterwards. Uh, not really after that, but ever ever since I heard from their interest, then I started watching games and I started to to get to know how they play because I want to know how the team plays. That is interested in me for me to take a decision and. Uh, and I felt like it was fun to see them, quite high energy, pressing game, attacking football. And it looked like the guys were having fun. So that's kind of, it takes all the boxes. When did you first uh, hear about their interest in you? Uh, it was during the end of the season. Uh, after my uh, Norwegian season and while I was at, with the national team, then then I heard first about some, some interest, but then it like gradually increased as, uh, as we got closer to the transfer window that starts now on uh, 1st of January. Is it true that you had more teams to choose from? Yeah, I had some had some offers up on the table, uh, but I said it in a, in another interview. But uh, after I went through through like what the teams had to offer and how they played, it was it was quite obvious that twenty was very high up. And my stomach feeling was always was like my gut feeling was always on twenty, and uh, so it made it quite easy to decide in the end. So that's what made twenty stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way the way they play, and uh, uh, then I heard about. Uh, I have a friend who plays in Go Ahead Eagles, an Icelandic guy, uh, yeah. Willemson, and he told me about the fans. Told me the fans were were, were amazing here, and uh, so it was like it felt like all the pieces came together, and uh, then then it was kind of a no-brainer for me to to go for it. Coming in half of the in the, in the half of the season, what are your plans for the rest of this season? Already thinking about the first eleven, or maybe just adjusting a little bit the next month, and then the eyes on next season. Uh, those first three days now were to get up to speed uh, physically, and uh, I will use the next week to do that as well. But but I'm here to I'm here to compete and to show that what I learned in Norwegian uh, in the Norwegian league is more than enough to play in uh, in the Dutch league. So I'm here to compete. How do you think in Alkmaar, AZ uh, will like that you come uh, play in Holland now? <laughs> I hope they're going to be scared <laughs> once we once we face them back in Alkmaar again. Uh, I had a I had a good moment there with my Nor- Norwegian team when we sent them home. So uh, hopefully I can help us uh, do something similar to them again.